Hey Bob, it's Liam here. I um, want to send you this video because I uh, want to talk about what we worked on in our first lesson, but obviously know when you're going on a golf trip and you're going to try to apply some of the things that we're working on. Uh, so you did great last night. It was awesome. So I hope this video meets you uh, in some good warm weather and some, some good golf courses. But what we're going to do here is look at the very first two videos, the before swings from this angle and from the face-on angle. And then we'll go look at... Uh, this video and the after the video and compare them and talk about why you did better and what you had to continue to do while you practice and play in Mexico. So first video here at the start of our session, club, club comes back inside. Posture's not very good either. We talked about that a little bit. We'll work on that more as we go along through the winter. Uh, but club comes too much inside. But really from this point, you know, leg does something funny, kind of kicks out there and you get very vertical. Your hands almost raise straight up. And a lot of lift. So the club's really in a pretty laid off position, which means it points left here. Notice this, we can see the back of your hand. If you look at your right hand there, we're really looking at the back of the hand, which means that the face of the club is pointed away from us, which is very open. And both those positions cause us to come up over the top of it. So you can, it's blurry because the light's not very good in the back, but if you can see the, the club head as it drops down, it's dropping over the other side of your head, which is way outside. Your club right now is here, way outside the ball already. Chopping on it and coming back, here it is now, to to the inside. Okay? Going to cause a weak high slice at best. You know, from this angle, we didn't see a uh, tremendous amount wrong. We talked about you being a little too narrow. We talked about the funny leg thing you do. Uh, but, you know, from this angle, it doesn't look... It uh, looks like a good golfer right there. So it looks athletic and, and all those good things. So, But the focus, again, on, on, on how to improve is, is to get here. So over on the left here, we're going to put your before swing. Or excuse me, on, on, the, on the left is your after swing. After we'd worked on some stuff on the, on the, on the right is the before swing. And actually, I think the key for us, and, and you didn't get a... As, as good as I want uh, going back yet because you still get the club too far to the inside here. But the big key is what happens here. And so if you compare these two videos from what happens here, and again we'll look at the one on the on the right first, which is the, the, the before the lesson swing. Club comes drastically up. Here you're turning and your hands are going to some degree more horizontal or more along this kind of plane to it right there. So your hands are going more up there, you're turning more. Okay, so when you get to the top of your swing, notice I can't see the back of your right hand. Notice the club face is in a square position and it's you know over here behind the left arm, if that makes sense. So it's in good straight position and from there you swing the club kind of at an angle. You're feeling like you're swinging it back down from the inside. The club head is right now already on the plane line. Moving from the inside, here it is here, to the golf ball. That really allows the club face more time to square. You're scooping the ball a little bit more. You're hitting it more directly on as opposed to cutting across it. So a completely better job. Keep on working on really from halfway back, feeling that you're turning, getting your hands working more horizontal, uh, more rotational and then drop the club back down to the inside and swing at a little bit of an angle, and you'll do great in Mexico. Thank you, Bob. We'll see you next Wednesday.